Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use the multimeter the right way. I'm going to teach you all modes in the multimeter in a real time by testing all electronic components using the right modes. And of course we can see many kind of multimeter in order to understand 100%. So we're gonna also dive into understanding this kind of multimeter that electrical technicians use in order to understand everything. So this tutorial will not be a simple video, but a huge course that will teach you how to use the multimeter step by step and from A to Z. So the course will be divided into parts until we cover everything. So let's begin with part one, where I'm going to teach you the multimeter basics and understanding the buttons, the sockets, the mods, the ports, etc. Let's get started. So let's begin from this side. This is basically a PMP ampere socket. Use it to test BJT transistors. So we insert the legs according to emitter collector base order here, and we can find if the transistor is good or not, and if the transistor is PMP or NPN. Then we have the hold button over here. Basically, it freezes the current measurement on the screen. So, for example, here, if I press the button, do you see here we have hold and this reading is in hold state as you can see again hold i will explain to you in a real time so over here we have dc voltage measures direct voltage for batteries motherboard rails etc and we have the ranges here 200 millivolt 2 volt 20 volt 200 volt until 1000 volts and in some you can find just dc volt and 1000 means the maximum voltage is 1000 volt and of course there are other kind of multimeter digital multimeter auto range multimeter but the working principle is the same and over here we have alternating voltage or ec voltage measures alternating voltage for adapters chargers etc so range from 2 volt to 750 volt please before diving into the course we'd like to give a huge thank you to the sponsor for this video pcb way pcb way offers many services ranging from pcb production and assembly to 3d printing and a variety of materials cnc machining sheet metals fabrication injection molding and more pcb way makes it easy to get custom parts for your project and if you don't like to work a lot with the soldering iron they can even assemble your pcbs for you that's the pcb way now back to the video then we have the sample for ac current measures alternating current and then dc current measures direct current so ranges from 20 microamps to 20 amps so please make sure you stay tuned because you cannot use this mods here without understanding this part those parts are very important to understand where to put the props so after that we have the farad mode or capacitance mode that measures capacitor value here we have from 20 nanofarad to 200 microfarad after that, we have the symbol for the resistance that measures resistors in ohm in ohms. So ranges from 200 ohm to 20 mega ohm. Then we have the diode symbol and the continuity test. For diode test, to check diode forward voltage drop and for continuity to test the continuity it beeps if the path is good and for input terminals we have volts ohm this is basically for voltage resistance diode continuity capacitance so we insert the red probe here if we want to test voltage 
resistance, diode, continuity and capacitance. This is the common terminal or ground probe for black lead. Same thing, we put the black lead here as a common lead, of course, to test voltage, resistance, diode, continuity and capacitance. Here we have milliamps for current up to 200 milliamps. This is basically fused, as you can see here. So max is 200 milliamps fused. This terminal here or this port is for high current measurement. Max we have 20 amps, usually infused. So please remember a very important rule here, never measure voltage while probe is in, in amps or milliamps. We use this port to measure ampere, not voltage. Here is some pro tips. The continuity mode is used to find broken tracks. The resistance mode detects short to ground. The DC voltage to check power rails. The diode mode to test MOSFETs, transistors, diodes quickly. We reach the end of part one. Please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell for part two and other parts. And don't forget to like and share this video. And for anyone who wants to accent learning, you can join my Patreon page for more unique content and free schematic downloads. All link in the description. Thank you very much.